Hey guys, Novamed 1966 here. Um, it's been a little while. Um, hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's staying healthy and staying good while they're at home or while they're at work or whatever else is going on. Um, I've been doing well. We've been getting some stuff done around the house and at the shop and finally got the, sh the barber shop back up and running. So uh, things have been a little crazy. So um, I want to do a quick haul for you guys. Um, these are just a few of the books I've gotten recently. I'm like, I'm so behind on hauls, I could probably make like five of them. But anyway, so really quick, we're going to run through this. Um, this Detective Comics number 32. I'm not really collecting these, but I really like the pinups. And Poison Ivy is probably one of my favorite characters, so you can't go wrong with that one. Alright, so I got that one. Um, this is really random. I found this at a little shop, uh, Lex Luthor and Porky Pig. Um, the, the lifelike renditions of some of these uh, characters and Looney Tunes characters are almost scary, but <laughs> I could not get this with the whole you know, the straight razor, and he's in the barber chair. Yeah, just kind of cool. Um, all right, I picked up Sin City the other day. Uh, the Babe War Red. It's been a long time since I've seen Sin City. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. From what I remember, it was pretty good. Um, it was a really weird movie. But uh, anyway, continuing on. Uh, Robotics, number one. This is a uh, obscure book that I'm sure there's probably only 100 million copies of. But it's a number one, and uh, I kind of like the... Uh, I don't even know what you'd explain it as. Uh, robotic dinosaur... I don't know. It's it's weird. Uh, like a Pacific Rim old school kind of thing. But uh, yeah, so robotics number one. Um, you know I'm into Elseworlds. Uh, Elseworlds is one of my favorite things. Um, this one was uh, Action Comics. Uh, it was an Elseworlds annual. And um, just a really cool story of like if Superman had come during the uh, Revolutionary War times basically. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, this is kind of along the same lines. I got it from the same vendor. This is uh, Batman Blue and Gray in the Bat. Um, it's putting Batman basically in the Civil War times. Uh, kind of Wild West Batman. Kind of cool. I don't really care for the way that the the like the like uh, characters were drawn on this one. But uh, interesting story none the least. To say the least. Um, Unknown Worlds. Um, as you all know, I like the sci-fi, I like the weirdness, I like the whatever. Uh, this was such a weird story. Like, it was like, it was almost like reading Marvel Zombies. Uh, hopefully you guys don't crucify me for that one, but uh, Marvel Zombies, not a huge fan. Um, just, uh, the stories are okay, the, the books are okay, the drawing's okay, but it's just like, you feel like you need therapy after reading the books because all your characters die, and it's just it's just terrible. It's 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 uh, while being cool at the same time. I don't know. I'm backpedaling, but anyway, Journey into Unknown Worlds, really cool, just old school science fiction, but in a new setting. So, all right, uh, Zatanna special. I don't have any Zatanna books, or I didn't have until I found this one the other day, and I decided I'd pick it up. So, I like Zatanna as a character. When it comes to DC, she's one of my favorite female characters. Um, of course, Ivy is probably my favorite. I'm not sure. Well, Wonder Woman's pretty awesome, but I don't know. You know how it is. They're all my favorite characters. <laughs> um, I picked up a few Hands of Shang-Chi. Uh, picked up 61. And I picked up um, 63 of that. Um... So, I uh, hope everybody has been going out and getting to go back to their local comic shops and whatnot. Um, X-Men Legacy 24. Um, I picked this up primarily because she was cutting his hair, and I thought that was pretty darn cool. You know, the whole barber thing. So, I thought that was pretty awesome. I picked up another Dazzler, number one. Um... I have a few of these. Uh, I've got the Error variant, and uh, and both of the, both the other ones I have are just number ones, but they're in pretty decent shape. This one's a whole lot better than the other two were, so. 
All right, World's Finest. This book is absolutely roach, but I gave almost nothing for it, and I really, for the longest time, I have wanted either a World's Finest or Brave and the Bold or something where Batman and or Superman have beards, because that's just awesome. You know, I live bearded. It's the way it works. Um, but yeah, that's just a cool cover. It's the, the primitive Earthlings and their leader are under our control. Head them into our spaceship. Herd them into our spaceship. Uh, yeah. Secret of the Captured Caveman. Uh, anyway. So, the wife has been picking me up. Some of these, uh, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy covers lately. And, she, you know, she's all about the variants. So, I end up with some really cool, just random books. And I just, I, I don't know. I love these books. Love these covers. She picked me up these books here a while back. They're really cool. Um, got some uh, really cool stuff going on here. Um, she's all about the uh, the artist and the things that are going on, so she knows a little bit more about them than I do. But, yeah, they're like that really cool kind of chrome cover. Yeah. This one is probably one of my favorites that she picked me up lately. Just, uh, that's just, that's freaking awesome. Um, I don't know much about the newer books, but I just, I like the covers on these. Um, okay, another Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy cover. Pretty awesome. Alright, I'm running this on forever, but... Um, Spider-Man versus Dracula. Anytime I can find anything with the Dracula or vampires or anything like that in the, in the deal, I'm gonna go for it. So the spider and the bat... Uh, Spider-Man vs. Dracula, number one, pretty cool. Um, Johnny Blaze, Ghost Rider, number one. Picked this up a while back. I was actually uh, at a shop, and uh, we randomly ran into uh, Spider Comic 7 there. Um, it was that same shop where he likes to go, and we always take trips to on the weekends. So. Um, it's about, a, shoot, about an hour and a half from our house, so it's kind of funny to run into him there, but pick that up. Pick this up there, too. Um, Francis, brother of the universe, his complete life story. Pick this up for a dollar. I don't really know much about it. Um, it had four dollars on it before. It was a dollar. It was one of those just random pickups. I'll probably read it and check it out. Um, but yeah, just kind of cool. Okay. New Mutants. Uh, random chick cover. I can't really say I bought this other than this was a cool chick cover and it was New Mutants number one. Um really awesome uh, and last and not least all right so me and alex big blue were going to uh, our lcs that's about an hour south of us and uh, we were looking around and i'm digging through all these boxes and digging through all these things and uh i happened to notice that in their uh, new purchases they had like spider woman like two to 20 missing the keys out of that obviously but they had all of those in like the new purchases. So I'm looking at the wall, and I just happen to look up, and in the corner of my eye, I catch what I think is Spider Man, or Spider Man, Spider Woman number one. And I'm like, all right, that's pretty cool. But they were asking like $49 for it or something like that. So I'm like, yeah, that's, you know, I can probably get one for 50 bucks on online or somewhere there. Um, and I didn't, you know, I wasn't really looking for that one specifically right now. Eventually I want it, but. Um, so anyway, so I get looking around, and I'm over there talking to Alex Big Blue, and he's like, hey, let's go check out the wall one more time. So he happens to look up, and he says, oh, they had the first appearance of Spider-Woman, and I looked at it for the second time, and I don't know how I blanked it out, but uh, I looked at him like, that is spotlight number 32. So uh, he decided he didn't want it at the time, so um, he had some other books he was getting. So um, I actually picked up a copy of this for the wife here last year for a birthday or Christmas or something. Um, but I didn't have one of my own, so I picked up this one for like 49 bucks. Um, yeah, it's in pretty good shape. There's a few little spots. Um, obviously, the plastic is kind of crinkled up. It's not... The book's actually in pretty good shape. There's a few little spine takes. You can see that corner. It's kind of jacked up, but... Um, yeah, so anyway, I picked that up. So that was pretty awesome. Um, now I have it in my PC, so that's really cool. 
I'm trying to think. Is there anything else? Uh, um, that was probably about it. Oh, randomly, this is not comic related, but I bought a random little gun here. Oh well, well over the weekend at a flea market. It's a. Uh, it's not functional. It's just basically a wall hanger, but it's like a. It's a defender. I think it's an Ivor Johnson defender from like the 1800s, late 1800s. So pretty awesome. I mean, if I wanted to probably get it to work, I could, but. It's one of those things, if you shot one of these, it'd uh, probably blow apart in your hand. So, uh, for the, right now, it's basically just a, a fidget spinner. So, um, <laughs> But anyway, I hope you all are having a great day. I hope everything's going well for you. I hope you are out hunting and finding all kinds of cool stuff. And I will check back with you guys later. Um, I've got, uh, Johnny actually is sending us, uh, Comics Altruism is sending us a package mystery box kind of thing so um as soon as i get that we'll probably do a video for that um as far as everything else just uh happy hunting guys hope y'all have a good one and we will catch you later